Hello guys, welcome back to another bench test video. My setup for here today, got my 24 volt DC power supply unit and my digital multimeter. And what I have here today is a 24 volt DC power uh, motor and it's connected to the gearbox. And I like to bench test parts prior to installation because nothing sucks more than installing a part and having it not work because the brand new part is bad right from the box. So what I'm gonna do here first is put my multimeter lead on the pins and set the meter to the ohms reading. So what I'm doing here is testing for resistance. If a good motor is good, the motor windings should have a low resistance reading. If it's open, I would not have that. I would have an OL or the resistance reading would be really high. And like the mega ohms there and thousands of ohms. So this here shows me that my motor windings are good. And if I would apply 24 volts to this motor right now, it would turn. So set my meter leads to the side and then take my power supply leads. I'll put one lead to the bottom pin take one lead to the top pin and for this motor if I wanted to reverse rotation I would move this lead to the bottom and the bottom to the top and that's how I would reverse my motor leads power supply unit is on as we can see here is turning and it's drawing roughly 0 0.7 0 0.7 amps so right now it's turning counterclockwise if I would want that shaft to turn clockwise I would just reverse my leads let me show you Black lead goes on top, and the red lead goes on the bottom. Power it back on, and then now the shaft of the gearbox is turning clockwise, and the rotation has been switched. So I just verify that this assembly unit is good and should have no problem once I install it. It should work. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by.